Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. Uh, where are you watching us from this morning? Be part of the conversation. You can text us 111-444-111. That is our SMS list. It's going to cost you a shilling to do that, to talk to us on social media. Switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. Now, I am a sweet tooth and this conversation is just going to be interesting. If you want to get into business as well, if you want to be an entrepreneur or you're in that field, well, we're talking to a veteran entrepreneur. It's time for Advice Circle, Business Circle, rather. And we have Mr. Joseph Ngumi in the building. Karibu sana. Yes, sir. Just kindly introduce yourself to the people and tell us Biashara uh, Nyonafanya. Okay. My name is uh, Joseph Maina Gumi, and I'm the director of Nairobi College of Bread and Confectionery Technology. Ah. Ah. We are registered by the Ministry of Higher Education mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and Tibet and SIDAC. Great. So, so. how long did this start? Uh, this college has been there 17 years. 17 years? Mr. Yes, Ngumi. Nairobi College of Bread has been there 17 years. Okay. Training bakers, um, diploma in baking technology. Mm -hmm. We also are assessment center uh, approved by SIDAC and Tibet. Mm -hmm. for assessment of recognition mm -hmm. of prior running. Mm. In this country, there are so many bakers mm -hmm. who have only done, run through the YouTube yeah. or the internet. <laughs> that would be me. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, also maybe in a bakery uh -huh. where they were employed, they learned a few skills. Yes. But none of them have professional qualifications where they can get proper salary. If they don't have a certificate, yes. they can be so skilled, uh -huh. but nobody will pay them well. Yes. Also internationally, they will not get jobs. That's true. So our institution is there to recognize mm -hmm. those, uh, those qualifications mm -hmm. through uh, the government, uh, through CEDAC. Okay. And, and this is strictly for bakery? Yes. Uh, for bakery? For bakery. Yes. We are called Nairobi College of Bread mm. and Confectionery Technology. Yes. So we really specialize in anything bakery. Uh, so those practical skills. Mm -hmm. uh, it has been a long story even where I started. Mm -hmm. Where did it start? Uh, well, I, it was very accidental the way I got into the bakery industry. Uh -huh. I was uh, doing my A-levels at Kagumo High School. Uh -huh. And in the course of the examinations, I, I went to the library and I saw an advert, a company, Sova Investment, mm -hmm. had advertised. They wanted to train uh, the A-level students uh, in technology and management. Okay. So they invited applications and... Uh, there was I applied. Okay. And that is how I didn't even know it was technology in baking technology because they had only because seen it. Because it doesn't see. They didn't see it. Yeah. So I had a passion for technology, even I was doing science subjects. So I had always wanted to do engineering or technology or science yeah. oriented career. Uh huh. So when I saw that one, I thought uh, I applied. And we did interviews where there were many applicants and we were taken abroad to Manchester in Britain. Ah. Yes, only two of us succeeded finally. Uh -huh. uh, and we were there for two years doing diploma course in baking technology. Okay. And then we also do, did another two concurrently, two years, for full technological certificate. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are very lucrative qualifications in Britain yes. and Europe. Uh -huh. When you have a bakery a diploma, national diploma, which is a, a British national qualification. Yes. It is a key to the whole of the Commonwealth. Ah, you can work ah. with that qualification, it is recognized. You can work anywhere. Almost worldwide. Yes. And then the full technological certificate was also a very recognized qualification uh -huh. for senior appointments, senior mm -hmm. management seats mm -hmm. in the bakeries out there in Britain. Wow. So that's how I found myself being a bakery manager here uh -huh. in the company who, who sponsored us. 
Okay. It was called Air Youth Bakeries Limited. Oh, the bread. It was yes. back in the day. It took a break, then it's back now. Yes, but uh, it's another one now. The owners are different. Oh, the owners are different. Yes. But I remember Elliot from back in the day. <laughs> yes, it was. So you uh, ended up working for Elliot. Yes, I ended up. They are the ones who actually, uh, the Sofa Investment, Elliot belongs to Sofa, mm -hmm. Uga Limited. Okay. Belong to Sofa Investment. Ah. So when uh, they interviewed that, they put us to those branches, their own companies there. Okay. So I ended up being manager there, technical manager, and uh, I got I was promoted to the highest level, and I saw no more progress, and I resigned, mm -hmm. and I opened my own bakery, which was called Wama Bakery Limited. Wama Bakery is limited. Yes. Uh -huh. It was you know that, and I was doing ten thousand bread per day. Wow. Ten thousand bread per day. So you'd was, supply all over, not just uh, in. No, the whole of North Kenya region. Yes. And. Uh, uh, this Moranga side. Mm. So thereafter, I came to do training. You decided to train people? I started to train people. Mm -hmm. And uh, I registered Nairobi College of Bread and Confectionary Technology. And uh, we have never looked back ever since. Ever since, 17 years so, ago. Yes. It, and mm. so did you, with the people that you trained, Yes. Dio Kwanza, the one you worked with at Nairobi College of Bread, mm. was it, were, were they the first people? Uh, or did you have to, they trained and they'd go away, Emma, you'd train and then retain? Yeah, uh, we train the diploma holders. Okay. Uh, they register, they apply, uh, we advertise in the newspapers for Okay. KCSC, school uh -huh. leavers. Uh -huh. And they apply to do baking technology. Mm. There are very few uh, accredited bakery institutions or, or colleges so. in Kenya. Yeah. Mm. Very few. So uh, that's why you find that even most of Kenyans, those who do the baking, mm -hmm. they are not having professional qualifications. Okay. They have either run through YouTube or internet. Yes. And. Uh, uh, we decided to fill that gap by uh, offering national diploma in baking technology. Mm -hmm. Recently, um, the Kenya government through the Curriculum Development Assessment and Certification Council, CEDAC, developed a curriculum and uh, occupational standards. Okay. Uh, so that several other institutions of, of colleges or government institutions mm -hmm. can start training mm. because professionally. Yes. So that uh, curriculum is now in uh, registered mm -hmm. and uh, it is among many others. There are these, the competence based mm. curriculum. Mm. Okay. Uh, the country is going into competence. That is so true. It's moving away from the theories. Yes. And how so long will it take if I join the college? How long does it take for me to get my certificate? Okay, we have three or uh, we have uh, three types of courses. There are some. If you want to do short courses, you may want to start a business, and you want a, 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 as short a course as possible, whereby you only get the skills. Those ones will last about two weeks. Okay, okay, okay. And then uh, it can be part time, about mm. three hours per day. So I can be doing my other things. Yes. I can be employed elsewhere, but I can still have my classes going on. Yes, even in classes. Mm -hmm. We get classes. Mm. And it's not age limiting. It no. can be no. as young as immediately after Form 4. Yes. Or as old as I am. Even 70 years old. Even 70 years old. If you want yes. to learn how to bake yes. and you want a certificate of that. Yes. That you can work anywhere with that certificate. Those are short courses. Yes. Uh, they are normally they will... Uh, they are modular, you know, it's one of the units in the, in the professional qualification. Because the professional qualification mm -hmm. has various units. It has mm -hmm. core units, it has basic units and common units. Ah, okay. So okay. You, when you came and you would like to do just one unit, mm -hmm. which will last, let's say, two months, mm. you can do it, you go out there and you can work. If you want to come back and uh, proceed, you can still come back and you do the other module. 
then you proceed and do another module and you can finally book for a diploma. Ah, okay. Diploma course. Okay, okay. But okay. You, you may find that you have had enough skills and you are now having your own bakery. Absolutely. You have your own business, so you may not want to pursue a professional courses for another two years or so. Mm. Okay. So those that are is, the that is interesting. Yes. So there's a question here for you. Mm. Mm. So, Hi, Mikali. I've had a vision of starting my own bakery, mm. but I do not have the capital. Where did Joseph get his capital? What can he advise me to do? Okay. Those days when he started the bakery, because I started as a as a as a manager at Aerius Bakeries. Yes. So we were running that industry. Mm -hmm. Then uh, after resigning, and I went and started the Wama Bakery Limited. Those days, the uh, Kenya government mm. had financing institutions, Kenya Industrial Estates. Mm. Even now, they do finance. Then there was the Development Finance uh, Finance uh, Bank, mm -hmm. DFCK, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Safeco Small Enterprises Finance Company. That is the one which financed me the first time. Yes. And they bought me machinery. Uh -huh. For a bakery, you need to have proper planning to succeed properly. You have uh, good quality machinery. Okay. And uh, your packaging to be right. The packaging. And you have to have uh, finances mm. to be able to make high quality products. Yes. And so that you can be able to s to, to to make bigger profits, uh, you also need um, to have identify your market segment. Okay. Yes, identify your own market segment because if you do the same thing other people are doing, mm, mm. you have where you bakery is there or warm or brewed with bread, then you start making brewed with bakery, mm -mm. and you are new. Mm -mm. You already have been there for long. Yes. You not penetrate. No, you won't. So it's better if you come in with your uh, market segment to come in with a, a unique product. Yes. Which will now penetrate faster, and it will be uh, it will be seen. It to be a new, completely new product, so you'll be able to sell to everybody. Was that your strategy when you started uh, Wama in? That's uh, how I started Wama Bakery in, in Odaya. Yes. Because you see, when you see Bakery was a big competitor, uh, Broadways. And uh, but I made a very special type of bread, very big one. Yes. I did a big tin, uh -huh. and then I would put the same weight of dough, but the volume because the bread tends to uh, to f to ferment and it uh, it would become big. Yes. So and the, uh, when you put it in the shelves uh -huh. among the uh, broadways and Kenbrest, the news is big. Mine looks big. Yes. And the housewives would come see this one. The price <laughs> is the same with this. I want the said, big one. I want this one. Okay. So now I was able to penetrate that way. Mm. Because now every other bread looked small because they were automatic bread plants. Yeah. yeah. They had no way of uh, increasing their volume. Okay. Because uh, their machines are automatic. Mm. Yes, and they are standardized to size. There's someone who's saying, mm. Hi, Mukali, I enjoyed the Wama bread. One of the real breads that I have ever tasted. Oh, thank, you. thank you. <laughs> How can people join the college and where is it located as well? well the college is uh, at the National Housing Corporation Building, NHC House. It is on the first floor. Mm -hmm. First floor of the National Housing Corporation Building. Uh, we have that one in there. Mm -hmm. well, we have another branch in Mombasa. Uh, on Moy Avenue, mm -hmm. and the other one is in Nakuru, around uh, in a town called Zobea, on your uh, Nakuru Eldorado Highway. We, we, have, we have that branch there also. Okay, okay. Asante yes. Sana. Do you have any other branch that we might have forgotten about? Uh, well, no. Those three are the major ones. Okay. okay. Yeah, those are the three major branches. Okay. Yeah. So anybody in Mobasa can approach our Mobasa branch. Yes. And uh, Nairobi. We are here at the Aga Khan Walk, mm. National Housing. It's a long Aga Khan Walk. Okay. On okay. the first floor. Okay. Yeah. Asante sana, Mr. Ngumi. We appreciate yes. your time mm -hmm. and sharing. Could I'm trying to say, my enjoy warmer bread. Yeah. I think I'll yes. go looking out for it as well. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, my high switch. Aki, see, to let ten azar. Mwendeleze from where I'm looking at, we are getting bored now. I have some good news for all Nazar fans, and I'll be telling you 
all about that after this very short commercial musical break.